Hello and welcome, friends of the arcane and seekers of enlightenment. Have you ever pondered the mystical intertwining of magic and the divine? Today, we delve deep into the heart of an ancient tradition where the boundaries of spirituality and sorcery blur. Welcome to the exploration of Thurgy, the practice of ritual magic believed to invoke the divine. Imagine for a moment a world where the metaphysical veil is thin, where the echoes of the gods resonate through the ether, and the air vibrates with the potential of the unseen. This is the landscape of our journey today, a realm where the mystical and the sacred converge in a dance as old as time itself. Have you ever considered the possibility that magic could be more than mere trickery or illusion, that it could be a pathway to something greater? This central question guides our quest as we explore the notion that magic might serve as divine work, a means to commune with higher powers, and perhaps even to influence the world in profound ways. Let us embark on this exploration by delving into the core aspects of the ergical practices. The ancient philosophers and mystics who engaged in thurgy viewed their rituals as a means of purifying the soul, of elevating their consciousness to a state of union with the gods. They did not merely cast spells or conjure illusions. They engaged in a series of deeply symbolic acts, each designed to resonate with the divine. Think of it as a spiritual alchemy where every gesture, every incantation is a step on the ladder leading to the heavens. Consider, for instance, the practice of invoking divine names. Much like a child calling for a parent in a moment of need, the Thurge would recite these sacred names with devotion, seeking guidance or protection. These invocations were believed to harness the essence of the gods themselves, bridging the human and the divine, the temporal and the eternal. Throughout history, voices both ancient and modern have debated the veracity and intent behind Thurgy. Plotinus, the Neoplatonist philosopher, considered theurgical practices as secondary to the intellectual pursuit of the divine. However, his student Iamblichus diverged, advocating that Thurgy was an essential and direct route to the divine, one that transcended rational thought. And today, in our era of renewed interest in esoteric traditions, Thurgy finds new advocates who seek to revive these ancient practices for modern spiritual work. Turning our gaze to history, we can see that the philosophy of Thurgy has threaded its way through countless civilizations. The Egyptian priests performing elaborate rituals to commune with Isis and Osiris, or the Greek oracles, uttering prophecies as the mouthpieces of the gods, were all part of this tapestry. Let's examine the Chaldean oracles, a collection of mystical texts that greatly influenced Thurgy. These texts are a case study in how the ancient world viewed magic as a sacred art, a means to ascend the spiritual ladder and achieve divine union. Now consider how this view of magic as divine work has found echoes in modern spiritual movements, drawing a line of continuity through the ages. Ethically, Thurgy invites us to consider the implications of invoking divine forces. Can humans wield such power responsibly? What are the moral consequences of seeking communion with the divine through ritual? One might recall the legend of the golem, a creature brought to life through mystical means to reflect on the ethical dimensions of magical creation and divine imitation. Culturally, Thurgy has left its mark on literature, from the magical quests of medieval grimoires to the symbolic representations in Dante's Divine Comedy, where the poet's journey through hell, purgatory, and paradise can be seen as an allegorical thurgy. In music, composers like Hildegard von Bingen encoded mystical visions into harmonies, believed to touch the divine. In film, movies like The Ninth Gate explore the blurred lines between the arcane and the spiritual, inviting viewers to question the true nature of power. Today, the discussions around Thurgy and its place in modern spirituality are more vibrant than ever. Some argue it represents a valuable and transformative practice, a means to personal and collective enlightenment. Others caution against the dangers of hubris, of reaching for realms beyond human understanding. 
Where do you stand in this debate? The relevance of this theme in our times cannot be overstated. As we witness a global resurgence of interest in spiritual and magical practices, Thurgy invites us to consider how ancient wisdom can inform our modern lives. How might the principles of Thurgy apply to contemporary issues like environmental stewardship, social justice, or personal growth? As we draw the threads of our discussion together, we find ourselves at a crossroads of magic and divinity. Thurgical practices offer a unique lens through which to view our quest for meaning, a golden thread woven through the fabric of our search for the sacred. Its call to inner transformation is a reminder of the perennial human desire to touch the infinite. I thank you, dear friends, for joining me on this journey through the mystic realms of Thurgy. Your presence and your quest for knowledge are what make these explorations so rich and rewarding. As we part ways, I leave you with these questions to ponder. What role does the divine play in your life? How might you engage with the sacred in ways that honor both ancient wisdom and contemporary understanding? Finally, a heartfelt farewell to you, the bright-minded and the curious-hearted. May your path be illuminated by the lantern of inquiry, and may your explorations lead you to the divine work that calls to your soul. Until our paths cross again, keep the fires of wonder alight within you.